A blessed Saturday afternoon to everyone. This is Joan Rose Almakalisang, and I am tasked to report about kinesthetic instruction. Kinesthetic learners are those who learn better if they can involve the movement of their bodies during the study. They are commonly called as hands-on learners or doers. The kinesthetic people like to be prepared for exams, and there is no better way to do it than making a short summary of the class notes. Writing what you want to remember is a good alternative to increase the kinesthetic's memory. Characteristics of kinesthetic learners One characteristic of the kinesthetics is that they are always moving about or doing things. Hence, they prefer a game with movements rather than one without it. They're kind of hyperactive, so they enjoy physical activities or sports. They have an innate dedication to physical exercises. Some kinesthetic people used to write things over and over in order to memorize it, because if they don't write the things many times, they can forget it. The majority of kinesthetic learners used to do do or draw on any available paper because it helps them to concentrate better. Some hands-on learners love touching things with their hands. This makes them feel more confident about their own knowledge of the real things. They enjoy doing things with their hands. It means that this type of people is attracted to do activities such as painting, sculpture, experiments, and the like. Kinesthetic people enjoy dancing a song that they like because they can feel the rhythm of the music in their bodies. That is the reason why they start automatically to dance. Kinesthetic learners enjoy planning their activities every week by making a list. As a consequence, they become more organized and also they can remember perfectly what they have to do at every hour of the day. In general, Kinesthetic learners need to move. They always struggle with focus unless their hands are working on the learning. Kinesthetic learners learn best when motions are involved. Typically, use color highlighters and take notes by drawing pictures, diagrams, or doodling. They are gifted performers like athletes, dancers, etc. Here are some suggested teaching strategies. During a lesson, allow the kinesthetic learners to stand, bounce their legs, or doodle. Offer various methods of instruction, paired readings, group works, experiments, projects, plays, etc. Have your kinesthetic learners perform tasks during the lecture like filling out a worksheet, on the material or taking notes. Allow those students to perform movement tasks before and after lectures like passing back assignments, handing out quizzes, writing on the chalkboard, or even rearranging desk. If you feel the kinesthetic learner slipping away from you in class, stop everyone and have the whole class do something energetic like energy booster activity, stretching, switching desk, left side of the room switching spots with the right side of the room and keep your explanation short and sweet be mindful of all your different learners when planning here are some suggested activities role play treasure hunt catch ball drills have learners set up a shop to practice math with money by being the cashier rhythmic club and tap for spelling and memorization jazz chant, and brain balancing activities. For students, sometimes school can be a drag. But we know that you have strengths as a learner to help you with school and assignments. These strengths are known as a learning style. Meet Jordan. He likes to use movement and touch to help with his learning. Jordan is a kinesthetic learner. Kinesthetic learners learn best when they can use their hands within their learning. They're doing activities like building models, doing science labs or experiments, 
using fidget toys, or creating art. When studying for a test, Jordan likes to recite the information and quiz himself while he's pacing in his room. He also likes to use a fidget toy. This helps him to keep concentrated on what he is studying. When doing projects, Jordan likes to use his creativity as a way to make connections with the information that he can show to his teachers and classmates. Jordan is very creative and he's able to use his sense of movement and touch to help with his learning inside and outside of the classroom. So it's important to remember that no matter how you learn, we all have strengths as learners that we use to help build our success. Our kinesthetic lab is a room where we have another opportunity for students to come in and explore their content area work while using physical movement to help them think and concentrate on the material. Mr. Nichols is our health and phys ed teacher who had some research based on the connection of kinesthetic movement along with working with content material. We wanted to find an opportunity to bring this into the school to allow our students to work with material in different ways and allow students to further explore their understanding. And we found the Action for Healthy Kids and Let's Move Pittsburgh grant opportunities that were able to partner with us and meet those expectations. So we want to take a look at two things. We want to increase the amount of physical activity in the school day and having the kinesthetic lab allows us another place for students to come and do physical type of movement, whether it be with health and fitness class or with their regular ed classroom. And we also want to give the students an additional opportunity to work on the skills that they're working on in their regular ed classroom. So taking a look at language arts and math, allowing the students to come in and do physical activity while working on all of those skills. So we have a variety of stations available to fit all of our K through two standards. So we have a learning ladder that we can adjust to meet each classroom's activities and goals. We also have a station where the students can work on sight words, high frequency words. We uh, do math work with number bonds, addition and subtraction. We do physical exercises that have been worked on in health and phys ed class. We work on the alphabet and letter naming for kindergarten all the way up through spelling patterns and phonics for first and second grade. To end, let us take a moment to reflect on this quote. Tell me and I will forget. Show me and I may remember. Involve me and I will understand. Thank you for listening.